Welcome back to Forza Horizon 3. When a new Forza game comes out, they only live for four years on the Microsoft Store before they are eventually taken down. It has very nearly been four years since Forza Horizon 3 has come out. On September 27th, this game is going away for good. This isn't a sponsor or anything, but Xbox is actually doing a really cool thing where I believe this game plus all the DLC is for sale for like 20 bucks right now, which is kind of insane. With all of that being said though, you know what we haven't done? In a very long time, said hello to the good old world of Hot Wheels. We're gonna check out some of the customization in this game, the cars that are no longer in Forza Horizon 4, maybe even a very special glitch or two. So I was thinking we should probably start this off with a couple of different races. You guys have a fantastic suggestion. This is one of my personal favorite cars that I don't know why still hasn't come to Forza Horizon 4. Say hello to the Lexus RCF. If you don't remember why the Lexus RCF was so special in Forza Horizon 3, it's because you could go in and do this. How sick is this Rocket Bunny kit? Proper good old wide body boy, that is what I'm talking about. Since we're ripping around on the Hot Wheels map, we definitely need all wheel drive. If you kind of don't have all wheel drive on this map, you're kind of doing something wrong. And of course, you already know the big old Rocket Bunny rear wing. That is sick. Who remembers this thing? The Hot Wheels tire compound as well. After all of our upgrades, 720 horsepower, 4,000 pounds. Yeah, it's true. The Lexus is a bit on the American side. Good luck, lads. I don't know where we're... Oh yeah, race a Tesla, they said. It would be fun, they said. I forgot how goddamn fast they were. Off the lot. Never mind, apparently I can't do quarters. Yo, Hot Wheels is so sick. Why, why did we ever stop playing Hot Wheels? This is so sick with the boosts and the jumps and, and the ring of fire. There's nothing else like this. Yo, the boosts are unreal. Oh dear. Oh, I'm gone. That's a jump. Oh, no. DJ Crowd. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, dear. Yes. I'm winning. I'm, uh, I'm not winning. Oh, we're okay. We're okay. No. The VTEC kicked in in the goddamn Lexus. For one second off, DJ, that is never a bad thing. This looks like a pretty good racetrack. I think this should be a good one. Okay, you can definitely tell which one of us has a couple of upgrades this time around. Use the boost. Go, boys. Which? <laughs> what? Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm, I left. I made it. <laughs> I've also got this thing in S1. Hello. We're trying this out again with a little bit of a better car this time around. GMC Cyclone. Oh, geez. Um. Um. That wasn't supposed to happen that time. No, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I went so weightless in the car right there, but we made it. We're good. I love it. I love the fact that certain cars can't make it up there. It makes it just, it makes it that much cooler in here. Wait, I'm in sixth place. Wait, did everybody else fall off as well? Fun fact, you used to be able to hit 300 plus miles an hour on one of the loops in the game. I can't remember which one it was. 15% left in this race. Can I catch up to the GTR? Come on. Come on, get the GTR. Get him. Gaining massively. Come on, I'm so close. I'm so close. Watch this. Watch this for a move. Not my best one. Not my best. I'm in the wrong gear. No. 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 Oh, how do I get run on? I'm in the wrong gear. Out of the final corner every time. This was definitely my inner child coming out back in the day when we played our Hot Wheels expansion, but 
I want to go over to that area that I just waypointed. Playground Games still has these models laying around. Could we get some more dinosaurs in the game? I'm just going to say they'd be pretty cool. Who would ever complain if somebody just dropped a big old dinosaur into the middle of Edinburgh for a week? What about this thing? This is Loki. Remember back in the day, the Hoonigan car pack and it featured this? Super, super cool thing. I remember all of this off-road path kind of thing. Could we do a race that includes some of that? Oh, boys. What incredible car choices you guys have for this one. Look at DJ. Man is truly living that Jurassic Park life now. Okay, buddy, that's a good way to get squished. Come on, Loki. No. That was close, buddy. No. No, no, Loki, keep going. I'm, I'm upside down. How did I not just end up in the water? <laughs> that was crazy. So crazy. Um, <laughs> y'all had a rough day there, eh, boys? I have zero top speed in this car right now. It's Loki versus Loki. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I am so sorry. Yo, <laughs> that guy died too. <laughs> if DJ tries to overtake, I'm going to put him in the ocean, okay? DJ! Come here! Come here! No! <laughs> DJ, where are you going? I got you, buddy! Keep going! <laughs> Yo, he died! What? what is happening? Boys, what if I... No! Dickhead! Absolute dickhead! <laughs> I'll be honest. That race didn't go as well as I thought it would. Let's go and get one more car. It is time for the Tesla Model S P90D with ludicrous mode. What a name for a car in this game. Motor and battery. Remember when you could do this to a Tesla? Like, goddamn, look at that. 700 horsepower and a... I think it caught on fire. Remember back in the day when we had to slum it with no engine spacers? Imagine how cool this Tesla would have looked with wheels that poked out like an inch or two. We're gonna go and do one more race and then I've got something very, very special. It is time for the Tesla Model S squad. No more gear shifting and we're already absolutely zooming. Just please don't end up in the ocean. It sounds so, oh dear. Oh dear, I forgot about that. Yo, the Tesla's not actually that bad of a race car. Elon, can we have your car in the game again, please? <gasps> Remember these? Remember these? Yes, the big ol' half pipe. We are absolutely zooming in the te- Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yo, we made it. We made it. Oh, jeez. Yo, someone jumped really far. It's DJ! This one changed the game. Uh, DJ, I think, thought it was three and one lap. Oh, shit. That's why he did that! He did that on purpose! I'm just gonna say, it might not have been our best race ever, but probably one of our most fun. Everybody wants me to drive a Rolls Royce for our final thing. Okay, I promised you guys we would wrap this up with a little bit of a glitch. For those of you who don't know, in Forza Horizon 3, there was a no respawn glitch in this game. All you had to do, come into Forza Vista, open up the door, and click drive. Just from doing that one simple little thing, the game should no longer respawn us if we flip upside down. Let's just do a quick little test before we do anything. This should be a good way to flip upside down. Yes. Ha ha. And you see what I mean now. When you eventually flip your car upside down, it will no longer respawn. That's not all that the no respawn glitch was good for. It also allowed you to do some pretty, we'll call them interesting things, for example. Like, I don't know, just casually going on a submarine journey. Like, we don't have glitches like this anymore. This was so much fun to mess around with back in the day. We seriously need more stuff like this. There you go, straight down under the water. Like, look at it all. All of it's mapped out. It's, it, it's incredible. Yo, that's the end of the world over there. I think I know what's gonna happen. Yup. 
<laughs> well, on that terrible disappointment, that is Forza Horizon 3. That is where we're gonna wrap this up. That is Forza Horizon 3. Thank you for your long life of service. If you haven't picked this game up, you've only got about a month left before it is gone forever.